Afternoon folks, just after lunch, Tuesday afternoon. And we have La Aurora Gold. Uh, it says on it, Aurora Preferi Preferidos, 1903 edition, Dominican Republic. I like the case, it's very, very cute, sort of a perfecto shape for the perfecto shaped cigar in there. And it's a really, really nice shape because you've got the quite a pointy torpedo top, but you've also got that real torpedo shape where it kind of tapers back in on the foot. It's got a very nice um, aroma. Cocoa-y, chocolatey, musty, spicy. It's like a, it's a bit Cuban-y actually on the, on the, on the, you sort of see the spin in there. No, there isn't. That's a good aroma. Obviously, because it's housed and sized inside this, the aromas are all going to stay in there. It's like a mini humidor within a humidor. This would have been in my, in my tapador container. Um, but a very nice, musty aroma. And I've had this in there for a number of years. I don't remember exactly how many, but it's probably been in there for four or five years, possibly. Um, and... What I tend to do when I've got cigars that I want to do a review on, or I should say a video on, I don't consider my mine reviews per se. I just they're just sort of smoking experiences, they're impressions. Um, I don't have a, a a professional intention when it comes to doing my videos. Um, so it's just sharing my experience really of a particular cigar. Um, so what I sometimes do is I look online to see what the profile is, depending on what mood I'm in. See if I fancy it. And what I've found is that a lot of these come up as having a peppery profile. And um, I don't really particularly like the heat of pepper um, in my cigars. So I just put it off and I just leave it in the top of the door. Um, so the good side of that is, is that there's a bit of age on these cigars because I've not wanted to smoke them. The downside is, is that they're not getting smoked. So I decided that I'm just going to take a cigar out. I'm not going to look it up because I don't remember the description of each cigar. And I'm just going to smoke it and say it like it is. Um... Uh, you know, if I don't like it, I don't like it. Ultimately, it's going to be based on my own personal preferences, and um, it is what it is. So let's get going. So this one, I actually don't even know that much. I will research is to know what the Victola is. Or oh, raw ref. Uh, the Ross CR. Okay. It looks like you can buy them on here in the UK. Uh, this is the Gauntley's website. Um, this may be a different size because it's, it's showing up as a, a different colour. It's a red instead of a gold. Uh, but the item is no longer available. But I'm, I'm thinking it's the same thing. So it's a 54 ring gauge by 5 inches. Um, it's going to be 54 obviously at the widest point. So um, it's a bit misleading when they say that. But it's obviously... Uh, What I do want to know is what the blend is on these. Right, here we go, the gold tube. So apparently these are no longer available by the looks of it. Um, a recreation of the first cigars that established La Aurora as a world-class cigar factory in 1903. The Preferidas gold tube Cuo cigar is complex and subtly sweet, crafted with carefully selected, expertly aged tobacco for a rare and perfectly balanced smoke. So I, I'm imagining that uh, these are uh, no longer available and, you know, maybe there's even a bit of value here, but I honestly don't know. It's not going to stop me smoking it. Uh, the other cigar set that comes up is cigar.com but it's got the GTPR um, 
which makes it unavailable for me to view, which is stupid really if you ask me, but there you go. What's this one? Habano cigars. Sorry, this is a bit boring for you, but I'm just trying to find out some information. Here we go. Yes, I'm over 21. So this is uh, HabanoCigars.com. It's a medium to full body version of the world renowned Perfecto shaped cigar. Blah, blah, blah. Each cigar is, patient, is aged patiently in rum bowls. Ooh, for at least a year. A beautiful, unique shape offers a perfect blend of varying intensities. Finely craft cigars. Blah, blah, blah. And one of a kind gold aluminium tube. Okay. So I'm assuming these are no longer available here either. At a cart. Well, the add to cart doesn't work, so presumably no longer available. I don't know why that is. Well, I'm going to cut it and light it before I change my mind. It does have a wonderful aroma. Great draw. Sweet fruity, stone fruity, uh, pre pre light flavour. It's quite a mild pre light uh, flavour, but uh, that doesn't mean anything at all. It's one thing I've learnt is that the pre light flavour is really often a very very misleading indication of the cigar itself. It's got a very dry wood flavor right now. It's got a very traditional look to it, this shape. It uh, reminds me of the comics from my childhood when you used to um, uh, see sort of caricatures of uh, baddies, crooks, you know, in a comic and they would be smoking a cigar, it would be that kind of cigar, that kind of shape. You go to a trick shop and get one of those trick cigars, it would be that kind of sort of torpedo shape. So it is a pretty traditional shape and by all accounts quite difficult to roll. Well, I think we'll let it uh, sit for a minute. I still have yesterday's Open Master on the Nava. And I have my coffee, of course, but whoops. I have my coffee, but I'm a bit worried that if I drink it, I'm going to add flavour to my palate. But I do try to keep my whistle moist when I'm smoking, so. Cheers. Trying to see what we can do with this block. Uh, perhaps we'll have some idea by the time we get through this cigar. Catch you again soon.
about a third of the way in. In the beginning, it wasn't very, uh, the smoke output wasn't great, but now it's really nice. Lots of uh, smoke output, uh, nice burn line, good draw. Very dry. I'm not really getting any sweetness. It's very dry. It's it's a bit like um, the pith of a walnut. It's that kind of dry, dry and savory. It's a little bit peppery, but not too much. The aroma that you get as the smoke comes to your nose, that's still got that nice sort of Cuban-y kind of aroma, but not in the taste. And I'm really no idea where the idea of rum comes into this. I'm not getting any kind of flavors at all like that. There is a, a very nice, as I say, a gentle bit of peppery heat um, sort of coating your palate and your throat and your back of your mouth, which is actually quite nice. On the finish, maybe a hint of coffee, but I'm not sure if that's from my coffee or from the cigar, so bear that in mind. Very dry, but actually I'm quite enjoying it. It could do a little bit of sweetness there and that would make it really nice. I don't usually go for dry, savory cigars, but this one's actually quite pleasant, so I'll continue to enjoy it. Been a bit busy, so the cigar's gone out. I'm just gonna relight. Got a very nice band. La Aurora with a line on the front there. On a, an African kind of scenery and it says on it uh, La Aurora 1903 gold so this is like a a remake of that original cigar I guess the taste hasn't really changed very much um, Talking about the rum, if I'm just trying to remember what it said about the rum. <clears throat> Each cigar ages patiently in rum barrels. So I get, maybe, if you remember when I first took it out of the tube, that really lovely aroma that I got, that's probably was contributed to by that rum. And that I can get in the flavor itself, I'm really not getting it at all. Speaking of it, having relit it, taking a couple of draws, possibly getting a little hint of something. No sooner than I said that I wasn't getting any hint of anything. Getting something, I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's certainly getting um, fuller in terms of flavor. There's definitely more flavors coming through. It is filling out. I mean, it was a very dry um, flavor. It was really like a white peppery kind of dryness. Like I said, the, the, the walnut pith. So it was a very sort of um, dry and like a bright kind of dryness. Um, but it's now filling out a little bit and a little bit of that middle ground is getting filled out. So we'll see how this develops. Good evening. Well, I'm back. I've had a gap for a few hours. Um, been out with the family. We went bowling. Midweek bowling. Would you believe it? Well, we're a very small family right now. We're just four. Um, everybody else has deserted us. They've all gone to their various colleges in this country, out of this country. So, my wife had this grand idea that we should go out with the kids 
once a week, midweek. So today was the first one, so I said, fine, I'll come. But I have not promised to go every week because we try and go out on Sunday as well, so. Otherwise, I'll never get any work done. We've got another coffee on the go. This time it's decaf. Being that it's the evening, it is 8 p.m. Just gone. Um, so I've spent most of the day tweaking this the, the workshop, so I have not made a pipe today. What I've done is draw a shape on a pipe. The beginnings of a shape. It's definitely gone savoury again. Around the halfway mark, I was getting a little bit more flavour coming through, but that seems to have dissipated once again. Um, I'll give it a chance to kind of get back into things, seeing as it's had a bit of a break. But um, I'm purging the cigar, so it should refresh the flavours. Anywho, I shall pop back in for the final sum up. Well, as I head towards the end, it is starting to actually smooth out a little bit, believe it or not. And uh, Rec Rail is very spicy in a good way, but it's very spicy, very punchy. And that's only with Retro Hill in part of the, the draw, uh, which is usually what I do. Um, I, I can't ret do a full Retro Hill, I find it burns too much through the nostrils. Uh, but it's definitely giving a little bit more flavor now but it's although it was smoother it's still coming towards the end of the cigar so there is a little bit of a a, a sense that it's about to turn uh, and become bitter and um, it's quite close to that i feel it's producing a lot of smoke and um, for a moment I thought I was getting a bit of a cocoa kind of flavour, but I realised it was, must be coming from my coffee. I can't believe that it suddenly developed a cocoa flavour, so that must be from, from the coffee. Alright, so I think I'm going to summarise. Visual construction, well, a very attractive cigar. I love the packaging, although I'm not a, always a, a huge fan of packaging. I much prefer that the actual item itself is quality. I always get nervous when people spend a lot of money on packaging that perhaps they haven't spent as much money on the product itself. Um, I'm the same way with pipes as well. Um, I prefer to spend more money on the materials and less on the packaging. Um, it's nice to spend money on the packaging too if you can get paid for it. Um, I'm, I'm all for it, but uh, in my case, uh, when I'm trying to make a living, um, I prefer to spend money on the materials. Um, packaging is nice, don't get me wrong. Anyway, um, the visual construction of the cigar itself is very nice. First of all, the band itself is very pretty. I like it. It's a very typical, uh, I don't know where it is now, but it's a typically sort of arty, new world kind of uh, styled uh, band. Um, I can't put my hands in it, but I showed it to you earlier on. Um, so, oh, there it is. Uh, it's, just, it's just a nice, colourful, well-made band and, and it looks good. It's fairly typical for the genre. Um, but for me, obviously, it's the Vitola. The Vitola of this pipe, the shape, the size, is just something else. It's, it's, for me, it's on another level. Um, and uh, that earns it really high marks. It's got a nice sort of a, um, between the mid to dark cocoa colored wrapper. It wasn't the, maybe the, the finest quality wrapper, there were a little bit of lumps and bumps here and there, but nothing untoward. 
Um, but the, the shape of it for me is just fantastic. Um, so for me, the visual construction on this particular cigar gets a nine out of 10 easily, purely for, because of, of that uh, Vitola. Um, mechanical construction, also very, very good. Um, right at the beginning, you know, it was almost the closed foot. It was cut, but it was a much narrower foot than the rest of the cigar. The foot was probably something like uh, 38 uh, ring gauge or even less um, and it was tapering out to a 54 so you can imagine how, how small that was so that's constricting so um, so it's understandable that the smoke output at the beginning wasn't great but once we got past that uh, smoke output was fantastic the draw was good um, combustion was good overall I think I touched it up maybe once or, mm, I'm not even sure if I did actually um, burn line pretty good and the, and the ash a little bit flaky, to be honest. Um, but again, nothing serious, doesn't bother me. Um, so mechanical construction on this cigar is excellent. Um, I'm gonna go with an eight and a half out of 10 for mechanical construction. In terms of flavors, like I said, it's quite a savory cigar. Um, started off very savory, like I said, walnut pith. Um, and sort of a white peppery kind of flavor along with that bright sort of walnut savory dry kind of sensation and it pretty much stayed that way throughout it did have its ups and downs it did get a little bit um, hot in the mouth at times chili heat peppery heat not uh, temperature heat um but uh nevertheless even though it's savory i actually enjoyed the cigar would i go out and buy it again probably not but i enjoyed it very much um, it was an enjoyable cigar. It wasn't like a, an off-putting dryness or savouriness, so um, I did enjoy it. If I was offered one, if I was going for a, to a cigar herf or just a meet-up with people, then yeah, if I was offered one, I would take one for sure. Um, but it is a dry cigar. There isn't a huge amount of flavour going on. Um, I didn't really get the whole rum thing. Maybe on the wrapper, you know, the smoke in the room, maybe it smells nice. Um, but in the taste, I did not get it at all. Um, so for me, it's quite a bland in terms of complexity, not much going on. Um, so for flavors, for me, I'm going with a six and a half. For somebody else who likes a dry, savory kind of cigar, then you may well give it a higher mark, but to my preference, I'm giving it a six and a half. Um, in terms of uh, fullness, to be honest, this was quite a full cigar almost from the off. It was, I wouldn't say at literally at full, that's certainly getting there now, but in the beginning it was really going to mild plus then medium quite quickly. I found it to be quite a full cigar. Um, so for me, it's medium plus easily, medium moving on to full. Um, and in terms of strength, actually I found this to be quite strong already in the second third. Um, so I'm gonna go with medium in the beginning and then moving on uh, to medium plus, uh, possibly going to full, you know, if I carry on, um, I would say it probably go to full towards the end. So quite a punchy cigar really. Overall mark. The Vitola for me is a big deal. It's a beautiful cigar, beautiful looking cigar. It obviously falls down on the flavors and ultimately that's going to be the driving force behind the marking uh, so for me i'm going to give it an overall mark of seven out of ten so this has been the la aurora uh, gold the la aurora gold aurora preferidos preferidos 1903 edition thanks very much catch you on the next one